It had become clear to the authorities on both sides of the Atlantic that all this nonsense was getting out of control and had to be stopped. Examples had to be made. Hoppy, John Hopkins, one of the leaders, if that word is permissible, of the underground, was sent to prison by Judge Seaton, who described him as a pest to society. And we saw ourselves under attack. Earlier, International Times and the Indica Bookshop had been busted. IT, the International Times, was produced from the basement of the bookshop. It was the underground's communication center, and to the police faced with an often elusive quarry, it must have seemed an obvious place to start. I think the police reacted so strongly to IT because of our advocacy of legalization of soft drugs. We were opposed to censorship. We were uh, generally an, an all-round libertarian paper, and uh, this was very much against uh, the way they thought Britain should be going. There was a meeting of Hoppy's friends the next day. I brought up my idea of an advertisement. Miles said he thought he knew where he could raise the money. It was, it was pretty black and white at the time. It was like a lot of people are doing it. Uh, certainly were a lot of people doing it. It's like, why make criminals of them all was the basic thought. On July the 24th, 1967, 64 people, well known variously in medicine, politics and the arts, including the four Beatles, put their names to a full-page petition in the London Times under the bold heading, The Law Against Marijuana is Immoral in Principle and Unworkable in Practice. Lord Hailsham told the editor that publishing it would be on his conscience forever. It simply came to us as a, as a proposed advertisement, and we had to decide whether to run it or not. I decided it because, as an editor, I had a commitment to freedom of debate. Uh, I'm quite convinced that even if you very strongly disapprove of, of views which are being put forward, uh, that as an editor you actually have a duty to allow free debate to take place. I had no reservations of, uh, about signing this thing other than the feeling of um, um, the excite excitement of knowing that you were putting yourself on the line and that um, you know that there was always going to be somebody who would come and come later and knock on your door. It wasn't an advertisement with which I agreed and we wrote a leader saying that we didn't agree with it uh, but I felt that it was a matter which ought to be argued out and that we shouldn't deprive people of the opportunity to make their case if they wish to do so. A 